Oh, Shane G, Midwest Coast. Make sure you follow, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Um, I'm here to talk today about Donna Brazil and how much credit all the Democrats are giving her for um, being a snitch, basically. That's what it is. Like, let's let's keep it real here. Um, <clears throat> Donna Brazil leaked emails, or I'm sorry, leaked questions when she worked uh, for... A, it was, I believe it was CNN. Um, I could be wrong about the network, but whichever network was hosting the Hillary versus Bernie debates, um, Donna Brazil had questions that she was given that she then leaked to the Hillary campaign in an effort to help Hillary beat Bernie in the debate. Why would you do that if you're not in the Hillary camp, right? you would stay neutral as the DNC is supposed to. Well, obviously everybody's heard the news this week about Donna Brazil coming out with this book. And I guess there's an excerpt in the book where she's basically admitting, yes, the DNC rigged the primary against everybody, not even just Bernie. They rigged it against everybody who wasn't Hillary Clinton. Um, the proof of that took place in some conversations between Donna Brazil and, and uh, the people who were, you know, essentially running the DNC and uh, in the Hillary campaign. And basically what what was discovered was that the DNC was so broke, they were left in so much debt by Obama that Hillary's people basically had to come in and do some save the day type stuff where they were basically like, OK, what we'll do is we will fund the DNC in exchange for funding the DNC, Hillary Clinton is going to be in charge of the analytics, the information, the voting records, the finances, basically every piece of infrastructure involving the DNC Hillary Clinton was named in charge of, whether it was Hillary Clinton or people who represent Hillary Clinton. Uh, her lawyer, you know, his signature's on the paper agreeing to all of this, so... um. Donna Brazil helped Hillary Clinton cheat. So now that she is coming out with the revelation. Now, I have mixed feelings on it because, one, I do feel like this is stuff that we needed to know. I mean, it's obviously stuff that we already knew for the most part, but now that this is the proof. So it's good that it came out. We did need to know this information. I don't like that Donna Brazil is the person who gave us this information. Because, again, you're a snitch. That's all you are. If you commit crime with somebody and then you get caught doing the crime and then you tell on the other person, you're a rat. That's what snitching is. That's what ratting is. If some third party observer who witnesses a crime calls the police, that's not a snitch. That's a witness. That's a citizen. But if you're participating in the crime, then you're a snitch if you tell on the other people involved in the crime. That's what you just did to Hillary Clinton, Donna Brazil. That's why I have no respect for, for what you're doing right now. The information was very good and we needed to know it, but it should have come from anybody else other than you because you're a snitch. That's what you are. I have no respect for, for, for none of this. And please don't think this is me defending Hillary because I think what she did was horrible. What she did was terrible and she rigged it against Bernie who should be our president right now. Because if it wasn't rigged against Bernie, he would have beat Hillary in that primary and he for damn sure would have beat Trump. This whole thing is ridiculous. All you Democrats, all you people, all the pundits, the commentators, everybody on the internet who's giving all his praise to Donna Brazil, saying that she's so brave. Sean King, I even saw tweeting about it, talking about how brave Donna Brazil is. It's like, come on, bro. Like, everybody who says something bad about Trump or says something bad about Hillary does not make them our ally. It's the same thing that happened when all these people, when Bush made his speech last week and everybody was, oh my God, Bush is part of the resistance now because he's against Trump and blah, 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 blah. Get the fuck out of here. None of that's true. You know, Bush is still George Bush. He's still the same George Bush 
who deregulated and raised taxes on the middle and lower classes and cut taxes for the rich and took our country into one of the biggest recessions we've ever seen. He's still the same George Bush that attacked Iraq, even though they didn't attack us and started an offensive war of aggression that killed minimum. What is a hundred thousand civilians, 200,000 civilians. This is still the same guy. Like that's still George Bush. So why is he a good guy now? Because he says he doesn't like Trump or because he says he doesn't like Trump. Like, come on, stop with the nonsense. Like, this is ridiculous. Same shit with this Donna Brazil shit. Just because she did one good thing does not erase all the horrible stuff that she did during the primary, which got us in the situation that we're in right now. So, no, I don't have any respect for what Donna Brazil did. I think you're a snitch. I think you're a rat. And I wish the information had come out any other way. Because Jordan Sheraton already exposed you. We know who you are. We know you're a liar. We know you don't have any integrity. We know these things already about you, Donna Brazil. So don't try to. You're going to try to turn it around now because you got your book coming out. And because, you know, you. I don't know if you still want to be in politics or whatever, but I guess you're trying to reposition yourself to be more aligned with progressives. That shit isn't going to work. We don't forget. Period. So all this, oh, Donna Brazil is so brave and oh, I'm so happy that she's standing up against the establishment and fuck out of here. Donna Brazil is a snake. She's a rat. She's a snitch. And she's doing this only for self-benefit. She's not doing this to help anybody else.